from issues like this, have, have there ever been any situation where you met a, a genuine mother with triplets? Are you you made a difference in Well, I will not say I met anyone with a genuine, a genuine intention. Because the last one we met too, maybe that was the reason why this one came. Mm. That one too was from Aqua Ibo. You understand? When I saw the child, I think this guy testimony, one of the NGOs called me to say, ah, there is one woman who with three plates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I went there, I felt so sorry for the woman. And I said, come, what is your problem? How much do you think I can give to you to assist you okay. in a trade so that you can go off the streets, yes. so that you can cater for these children. children? You know what she said? She said she she used to sell oil before she gave birth to these children. What oil? That that? Gram oil, palm, palm oil. Okay. That it was as a result of the death of these children, she couldn't go to the market okay. again and she ate the money she was using to okay. trade. I said, okay, I put her into my bed, I put her in my bed, we came down to the office. To the office mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I called my welfare officer. Even at that time, we are not having so much money here in the office. I have to bring out my personal money. Mm. I gave her, I told her to take her to Fit uh, Line, it's a transport company in Benin. Mm -hmm. So that she can go back to her state okay. and start a trade. Ooh. So it's like that. That's why I said they take over the uh, advantage yeah, yeah, yeah. of our kindness. But how do you think? How how, how are you sure it's not genuine? She well, might, she might well, well, I will tell you it's not genuine with what I've seen now because I think she oh. came with one other lady too. Wow. She was not alone. She can't she was, with three children. Uh, no, that's that, that. That was why I thought initially yeah. she was genuine. That was okay. why I did what I okay. did. Now, what I, with what I've okay. seen now, you doubted. I'm not doubting, and there's no other one I will ever see on the street again so that, that I will believe. believe. So unknown, uh, we will not even prove anything because we know how we take care of those with triplet and twins. You understand? They come to the office. If they find out that yes, they have triplet and they cannot cater for the triplet, they come with their husband, and we investigate them and empower them. Cool. You understand? That's what we do. Since they have taken into taking these laws into their hand, in getting children together to so pose as if they are genuine, this time around, well, immediately we see anybody like that, we we'll pick the mother, carry the children, share the children into the various orphanage home, where the children will be taken care of. Then we we'll tell the mother to go. Okay. Uh, for the benefit of those who are watching, um, I just want people to understand that, you see, when you you go about uh, maybe destroying the image of your country. It also affects the future of your children and your family. Um, I, I mean, I do state in the office of the Commissioner for Women's Affairs, and um, what, what's happening now is that um, even though you know there's a law that supports the women with treatment, because it's happened on two occasions in a fraudulent way, the third person might not be lucky. Are you with me? What that means is that even the commissioner herself has said all the good, all the good gesture they are given to the, um, you know, the, the, the country is given to the uh, poor people, the mothers and triplets might be reduced or even eliminated completely. So if you're being bad, you're going to block a chance for a positive person. You're going to block a chance for the next person to come. So um, um, before I have my final words, I'm just going to introduce you uh, to this gentleman next to me. Um, First of all, is my name. Security program here in the Global Broadcasting Service, Crime Watch, and uh, we we'll actually be downloading the Commissioner for Women Affairs, Edo State, who actually at the moment is worried and is taking government position on this uh, present situation, which we are going to discuss as child trafficking, uh, fraudulent way of collecting money from the public and even government. Yes. You know, so that is the position right now in Edo State. So it's so terrible. I, I mean, I, I'm going to come back to have a wonderful um, interview with this great personality. But we just quickly uh, stopped by to see what's really happening, you know, in the Office of the Commissioner for Women's Affairs. A woman, uh, two ladies who, who went about borrowing children, and we don't even know where the children came from. They're not, the children do not belong to her, but she lied, telling people that the children belong to her and started crying for people to give her money. In fact, she's got loads of money on the floor, but this is not fair. What happens to people who really need, who genuinely need the help of others? What happens to mothers out there who have no means? But I think what we should do is to continue educating our women. Let them understand that they need to be independent. They shouldn't rely on nobody. If it's a trade, they should go for a trade. If it's a cheap job, they should go for it. They need to educate themselves. They do, they do not need to start 
opening their legs and having unwanted babies. If you know you can't keep, take care of your children, then don't have it. It's not compulsory. There's so many condoms out there. Because if they can easily have diseases or something, does it, what do they say? What I know today, so why do they love so much sex when they do things? It's not college, it's not it's because it's these people that are here today, they are not from, from a dose they are from Cross River State. I think they love so much sex in a dose state. It's a matter of personal uh, so. Every corner you go to is a hotel. Everywhere you go to the list is the girls. I want to tell you the hotels you see in Benin. The girls you see in Benin, they are not from the They are not from the state. They are from other states. So why do your men? Why do your men and It's not only our men because we have other men from other states. Why is Benin? I've seen a lot. What are you Benin? Okay, you will say Benin is a center for prostitution. Is that what you are trying to say? Uh, well, then, you, well, if you say, let me tell you, I will not tell you it's true. And you not tell me No, I will not tell you it's true. And you not tell said it's not, Why I will not tell you it's true is that if you want to describe the best place for prostitution, it's Lagos and Abuja. Um, you might but say because that. you see because them, because you are big, big cities. And they are big cities, and you see, you don't see them in a very viable place. You don't see them in a very viable place. Like in Benin, in the evening, you easily see them all over the place. No, not all over the place. <laughs> every corner. Not every corner. I want to tell you, we have only one place where you see them and every day. Go to and when you pass that area in GRO at night, you will just believe that every area in the area is like that. But I want to tell you, most of these guests are coming from Cross River, Fort Aycourt, uh, uh, Lagos, and uh, every area. You understand? If you find that the Bini guests are the Edo guests are not up to 10 among all the local people. Now, what have you got to place? What have you got to place to eliminate prostitution in Edo? I want place. to tell you, prostitution is as old as you and me. Even longer. I know. Even longer. Yeah. I want to tell you, there is no place you don't have prostitution. Of course, of course. Can you have prostitution all again? over the place. Okay, is there a program in place for so many? Some we have a program. Like Even we have programs with program. Nati and other uh, 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 national bodies that yeah. are fighting this cause of uh, 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 prostitution in the country. And I want to tell you, so I want to tell you, if you say a dose state, a dose state is not the worst place as far as prostitution is concerned. But I will tell you, we have more worst places than a dose state. I believe you. So, sorry. Um, we just uh, after the break, we'll be discussing them um, the reasons why we see so many girls on the streets of a dose state who sometimes uh, sell sell some things at night, probably sell their bodies. I don't know, but what I was told is that um, uh, it does say it's a beautiful city. It does say it's lovely. I can see beautiful roads. I can see beautiful people, and they're very welcoming. But what happens? Why do you still see girls on the street? We see so many girls on the streets of uh, some corners of Edo State. So I'm in the office of um, the Women's, uh, Women of uh, Affairs, and we're discussing reasons. And I've been told that there's a program to support these, um, you, you know, girls and to develop them and to educate them. So after the break, we'll discuss that. So. Okay, I'm saying bye bye uh, from Edo State, and I'll be back in London very shortly for my colleagues who have been waiting for me. Uh, thank you very much.